Hey, I'm Lee Reedy. This song's about Oasis drinks. I'm selling notes, singing this song. Your liquid love stops you feeling wrong. Uh, let's get underway then, Andy. We start with Alan Brazil, clearly riveted by this reminiscence from his co-host Ray Parler. Penalty shootout was their end, but yeah. their supporters was, and uh, yeah. it was a, it was a tough one. Uh, I mean, I, I took the first penalty of the, mm. of the uh, thing, and I scored, and then Davos Suka missed, believe it or not, and he was a top striker, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. And uh, Patrick Vieira. Thank you. Okay, five minutes to ten. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hanging on every word. <laughs> yeah. Okay, five minutes to ten. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was my career. Was one. Yeah. Okay, five minutes to ten. <laughs> well, at least he was half listening. He to was him, half though. listening. Yeah. I'm not so sure with this one though. No. You were at the Emirates last night? I was indeed, yeah. I went to the Emirates and, uh, again, a lot of empty seats here. Was there? Yeah, there were a lot of empty seats last night. Um, you, I think I ex- a lot of people expected that anyway. You know, they had to be patient last night. I thought Sunderland, they, they dug in. I thought they'd show a little bit of spirit last night, Sunderland. Uh, did I see a lot of red seats, empty seats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think he had touched on that, Al. I think he, uh, I see some empty seats. Were there empty seats there? <laughs> uh, here's the moves at West Ham versus Liverpool. From three yards out, he managed to hit the post, and when it came back to him with the goalkeeper prostate on the floor... We don't want your prostate on the floor, <laughs> here. Really, That's huh? not, you're going to see the physio with that one. That's not good. It's land all over. Yeah. Uh, Adrian and Goffey on drive talking rugby, and Adrian may well be the only person in Britain who can't do Eddie Jones. Mm. You ask a Eddie lot Jones, of, did you, you ask, Eddie Jones? You ask a I lot love of, Eddie Jones, he's a, so brilliant. Ask a lot of football fans. Yeah, Eddie ask a lot of football fans. <laughs> what a bit step toe, didn't it? What a bit old man step toe, really. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> uh, anyway, here's a very good example of Andy's favourite type of clip. Let me go to Liverpool, to Mike. M- morning, Mike. Morning, Mike. <laughs> Very confident. Why does it happen? It's a real phenomenon in phone yeah. radio, isn't it? That when someone nervous. says you're, you're nervous. Yeah. So you morning, Mike. Name and you just morning, Mike. You I say know. your own name. It's back. a reflex. It is. <clears throat> now this is Nigel Botherway on Fisherman's Blues with some old school smut. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, Phil Spinks kindly sent me a picture of Ken's monster, and I can tell you it was in immaculate condition. And as soon as it appeared on social media, it attracted 200,000 hits. Yeah, Ken's monster went viral. <laughs> Looks like oh, it's, it. it's route one. Allow us one now and again, for goodness sake. So it's me, isn't it? It's yes. Mickey Quinn with a Leicester-related question for the TalkSport listeners. Now, will it be or will it not to be? Shakespeare, will he get the full-time job? <laughs> it didn't quite work that, did yeah, it? No, not really. It was, to paraphrase yeah. Shakespeare, as we always Sadly, like to I do. Sadly, I knew Yorick quite well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, actually, I was a good mate of Yorick's. That doesn't really work. Yeah. <laughs> I knew him, Horace. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Here's the two mics uh, arguing about Scottish geography. Hmm. I bet you think there's a city called Wraith, don't you, where Wraith Rovers Wraith are Rovers, no, because that's in Scotland. I know a bit more about Scotland. Yeah, yeah. That's Gordon Brown's you know, team, by the way, even I though he lives in North Queensbury, yeah. which you don't even know. Yes, I do. No, I know, know everything that. about it. Uh, anyway. You know everything about North Queensbury? I know everything about How'd the... How'd you get there? Ge- Sorry? How'd you get there? You go over that bridge. Which bridge? The bridge. Which bridge? The bridge in Scotland everybody talks about. The one that was in uh, the 39 steps. Don't get funny with me, OK? I'm not getting funny right, with you. Now you then. can't remember the name of it, though, can now, you? Of course I can. Now then... What's uh, it called? Sorry? What's it called? What? The bridge. Which bridge? The one over, that goes over the uh, river. The Fourth of Firth Bridge. The Fourth of Firth? Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure it's not the Firth of Fourth. No. The Fourth of Firth. You're sure about the that? The Fourth of Fourth. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> the party of the first part. The party <laughs> of the second part. Yeah, yeah. Which bridge? That's <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's Abbott and Costello, for goodness sake. Yeah. So uh, here's the moose again, who seem to be momentarily possessed by an alien. Talk sport. Sports update. Good morning. I'm in a. I'm in Abraham's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Abraham's. <laughs> Exterminate. <laughs> yeah. Take me, take me to your leader. <laughs> it's good to, time now for the Talk Sport Corner of the Week to Danny Kelly. Tom's a Manchester United fan in Birmingham. Hello, Tom. Yes. Hi, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Talk Sport Caller of the Week. I'll have what he's having. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> It could be that. Could have been that aggressive, Tom. There. Now, Jim Proudfoot uh, commentating at uh, Chelsea versus Watford, and this clip works better if you imagine Jim as a Scottish accent. Back it goes from him to uh, Barami, Barami to Kapu. Yeah, just <laughs> try. We it. won't labour it, but uh, <laughs> just, try it. just think of it in a Scottish. Maybe you need to hear it again. So imagine that Jim with a Scottish accent 
to this. Back it goes from him to uh, Barami. Barami to Kapu. You get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea yeah. there. Nigel on Fisherman's Blues again, and uh, oh, he's such a polite man. He's a polite man, yeah. Very abusive um, message from somebody. Thank you very much for that. Even the abusive <laughs> stuff he thanks you for. <laughs> yes. Just thanks for getting in touch. Well, Don't mention it, you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they came back with. <laughs> and finally, yes. it's, uh, it's Alan Brazil and Ray Wilkins on breakfast, mm. marking the fifth anniversary of Chelsea winning the Champions League. Now, this is a bit long, this clip, uh, but please do bear with it. Here we go. Drogba steps up, right-footed, and wins the European Cup for Chelsea. Absolutely extraordinary. Heartbreak in Moscow. Delighted Munich. Chelsea win the Champions League. I've got to come clean. I've got to come clean. I don't think I've done it before, but I have to come clean. That day, that day when the Drog won the, the trophy for our Chelsea. Yeah. If you remember, there I was in Moscow. Downtown Moscow. And I got invited over to the Chelsea Hotel. Not actually the Chelsea, but there was a bit of a, a talk going on, a lunch. and Anyway, I went over there. It was lashing down. So Ronnie was with me at the time. He had his normal coat with him, his duffel coat. And he just come on, buddy, we're going to the game. I went, no, nah, no, nah, I've done a deal upstairs. He went, what deal? So I've done this. I've given my ticket away. Big screen, couple of bottles of bubbly. <laughs> well, that was uh, 2012 today. Today, that's what I'm telling you. Was it really? Yeah, Chelsea won it today. How many years ago? What's that? Five, uh, 2012, five years ago? Five years ago. That was in Munich, though, wasn't Stop it? Stop waving they, at me. They lost, to the, they lost that one in Russia to Man hey. U. Oh, they lost it? Yeah, that's when they lost the penalty. Well, what are you talking about, Drogba scoring? No, Drogba scored a penalty in Munich. That's when, when um, they won it. When they uh, won it. When who slipped? They were, J JT, well, JT, JT, JT slipped in Russia. But they, they won it in Munich. Ah, when, when, when was that? What, what year? Oh, good grief. <laughs> it was five years ago this day. <laughs> so why are we talking about Moscow? <laughs> it's the first of fourth on the fourth of Well, fourth. you brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. When did it happen? Five, it's the fifth anniversary, Al. <laughs> so there we are. Uh, thank you to Ron Spadgecock, the cliche Guevara, Connor Bisp, Lee Pyle, Paul Forrestal, the Lesonator. Um, yeah, see? Uh, D. Reynolds, uh, Raja from the Rising Durham Supergiants, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andy Beckett, Marcus Bramley, Arnold Anderson, Ken Brazier, Kevin Rooney, Mark Benham, Adam Finnegan, and Ian Hackett all suggested clips that will. I'm selling notes, singing this song. Your liquid love stops you feeling wrong. I sold my soul to the marketing team But the money's good and the oasis drinks are free